Hello everyone. So in this class, we're going to learn how to map a printer to the domain users. The printer can be uh, installed to a particular machine or to the server, or it could be a network printer that is uh, associated with its IP address. So, but for the purpose of this class, I'm going to uh, install the printer to the server so that uh, after that, we can be able to map it so that all domain users can be able to have access to the printer. So let's do that on, the, on our server dashboard. We click on control panel. We select control panel. Here we go on hardware. So select on advanced printer setup. Click on the printer that I want isn't listed here. We add a local or network printer as an administrator. We click on add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Click on next. Because this is just a simulation, I will uh, just a practice. I will leave the existing port as LPT one printer port. I'll click on new next because this is just uh, an example. I won't alter the port here. I'll click on next. So in this uh, printer options, I'm going to select generic IBM graphics nine pin. Click on next. I'll leave the printer name as generic IBM graphics 19. Make sure that this is checked. Share this printer so that others on your network can find and use it. I'll leave it at least. Make sure it is checked and click on next. Then click on finish. Make sure that it is set as the default printer. So once this is done, uh there's another thing that we're going to do for the process of our mapping our gpo mapping to be easier we're going to add this our uh, created printer so that it's this the object can be able to be seen from our active directory from our active directory users and computers uh, object so what we're going to do now will enable us to see this printer when we try to do the gpo mapping via active directory so we click on device and printers and then this is the printer that we just installed we right click on it we click on properties no no not here right click again okay printer properties we click on printer properties yes we click on sharing and here in these two options we are expected to select list in the directory so when you do that, you click OK and that's it. Then we can now go back to our Active Directory users and computers and we'll find this object there and do the GPO mapping. So we click on Tools. We click on Group Policy Management. So on my domain, remember, we are trying to map this uh, printer via GPO to all users in the domain. So because of that, we are going to select on my domain, be it whatever you want to do, depending on the, on the, on your organizational unit that you have, because from my other videos that I made, whatever GPO you create on my domain will be affected in all the whole organizational unit, but whichever one you made, you make on a particular, uh, OU will be affected within that organizational unit. So for this printer, I want all the whole users within our, my domain.com. To have access to it and that is why we are going to select this one and say create gpo in this domain and link it here for the name let us use printer sharing printer sharing or printer setup let's use printer setup okay we have the name here we right click on the name we click edit On the user configuration here we have computer configuration and user configuration so for the user configuration we click on preferences we click on control panel settings 
we select on these printers on this empty space here we right click and select on new shared printer on the shared parts try to browse and select the printer that has been created which is this generic ibm graphics 9 pin So after that, we click OK. You can exit. So let's test this and see. You can exit all these ones. So let's test and see what we have just created, how it has been replicated. But first, you need to uh, do your GP updates slash force so that it can be replicated. So we are going to log in with any of the domain users. Let's have a brief. Remember, just as I said, GP update. Slash force. Once our update is update is complete, you can check to see that your printer has been mapped. Just uh, let's have something here. Print. As you can see, it has been shared with this user generic IBM graphics on DC. So that is how this can be able to be done. And for all the users in this domain, it has been already been replicated to them. Thank you for watching. And I believe you have learned one or two things from here. See you in my next other videos.